After we took second last weekend in the Lake Ontario 300, Charles hopped aboard Warrington with me for a relaxing low wind race. <laughs> well, you know, we had to get, we had to get pay somebody who knew how to sail, because he does. That's right, that's right, I'm hopeless. Hope was revived, however, when we came within inches of winning another start. I was in the perfect position, cruising down the start line on a beam reach and just got a little too cautious and allowed Moxie to steal 45. the jug at the last second. After that, I would have preferred to have gone right where I thought there was probably more wind, but I was pinned by Moxie until they passed us. I attacked both to get out of their wind shadow and to get to the favorite side of the course, where a dragonfly was already gaining on the rest of us. Not long after this tag, I would cross just ahead of Panache, who, with Moxie, tried their luck on the left side. When I got to the right side of the course, Dragonfly was already well ahead, and whatever good win they had gotten, I most anticipated. Moxie came over in front of us and tacked about a boat length ahead, which is where they had been when I left them before. We had a tight rounding around the windward mark, and Panache was hot on our heels. As we began the first downwind run, Panache stole our air from behind and pulled up a beam of us to port. Alright, go go and pull. Meanwhile, Moxie had tried the same maneuver on Dragonfly only to be blanketed by Fine Wine from behind. Fine Wine wasn't even in our division, so I got us some words for exchange between the three boats. Panache usually wins by holding his own going upwind and then pulling ahead downwind thanks to his greater sail area. So, when he did finally pull ahead, I cancelled his advantage by stealing his wind as best I could. I wasn't able to pass him, but at least I kept him within a boat length all the way to the leeward barn. The rounding was tight but doable, and the same pattern repeated itself as Moxie and Panache peeled off to the left and Dragonfly and I stuck to the right. Interestingly, we met Fine Ryan at the right corner of the race course and just barely passed in front of their boat by about two feet. The fact that Frank didn't yell starboard at me this time as he would have done in previous years, was a grumpy man's nod of respect. We've come a long way in two years, baby. When we met Panache at the windward mark, they were still only a boat length or two ahead. So after we rounded the marks, we stole the air again. After a while, the skipper, Mark, started to go further and further to the left, both to force my hand and to get out of my shadow. He had just enough advantage on the downwind to do this despite me. At a certain point, I just had to let him go. Okay, good, thank you. When we met again at the finish line, he was only 22 seconds ahead. Since his boat, an Agra 26, is faster on paper than ours, we beat him and Moxie once the handicap was added, but not Dragonfly, who took another first place. Thank you, Ace All four boats finished within three minutes of each other, and that's what makes this kind of racing fun, and strong winds or light. Yep.